In this lesson, we're going to use the balance method to solve an equation involving brackets. We'll begin with question A. We have three lots of x plus four equals 39. Now there are two ways we can do this. The first way is to expand the brackets. So we have three x plus 12 equals 39. And we take away the 12 from both sides. The 12 cancel, so 3x equals 27. And divide both by 3, because that's the opposite of times 3. And we're left with x equals 9. So x will equal 9. The second way of doing this, and it's the same equation. Now, instead of expanding the brackets, we know this is the times, and we're going to eliminate the three by dividing both sides by three. So the times three and the divide three will cancel. So we're left with x plus four equals 13. And we take away four from both sides. So x will equal nine. And we can check it's right by putting the nine back into the equation. So three lots of nine plus four, three times 13 does make 39. For question B, because four is a factor of negative 12, we can divide both sides by four. So two C minus five equals negative three. We, we can add five to both sides. So two C will equal two and divide both sides by two. So C will equal one. Again, we can check this by substituting C equals one back into the equation. Two times one is two. Four times two minus five, which is minus three and that equals negative 12. So we know it is correct. For question C, again, two is a factor of 30, so we can divide both by two. So they will cancel. So five plus four V will equal 15. Take away five from both sides, because that's the opposite of this addition of five. So four V, will equal 10 and V will equal 2.5 when you divide both sides by four. And we can check that this works because two lots of five plus four times 2.5, which is 10, two lots of 15 does make 30. And question D, Y plus eight divided by five equals two. We multiply both sides by five now because the times five is the opposite of this division of five. So these will cancel. So y plus eight will equal 10. Take away eight on both sides. So y will equal two. And put two back into the equation. Two plus eight divided by five. 10 divided by five does make two. So y is equal to two. Question E, we can multiply both sides by three. We get rid of the division of three. So u minus six equals 12. Add six to both sides. So u will equal 18. Put 18 back into the equation. 18 minus six divided by three. 12 divided by three does make four. And finally, the question F, we're going to multiply both sides by four. So they will cancel. T minus six G will equal eight. The problem with this equation is we have a negative six G and it's much easier to work with a positive six G. So we'll add six G to both sides. So two is equal to eight plus six G. 
Well, take away the 8. So negative 6 equals a 6g. And divide both by the 6. So g will equal negative 1. And we can check that this works by putting negative 1 back into the equation. 2 minus 6 times negative 1 over 4. 2 minus a negative 6 over 4. 2 minus a negative 6 is 2 plus 6, which is 8. 8 over 4 does make 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful.